Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I drive the Class Harvester for the first time. Hey Karen, so uh, this is a video just for you. And um, I'm in the Harvester, so there's a big chute that spits it. Where has it gone? Somewhere over there, anyway, there's the end of it. And uh, that goes into the trailers, and down there is where the grass goes. So it goes gobble, 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 poo, poo, poo. So um, these are the buttons. I'm going to spin you around like that. So these are the buttons. So these ones here make the chute up there move. So watch this. So by pressing the buttons. So that's that. And then um, the, the middle set make the he head come up. And go back down. And then the first two, they're the big buttons. There. So that's the go button and that's the not go button. So rev the engine. And then when I press the button, everything works. Pressing the button. See the thingy going around. That's going um, 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 um. And then the other button makes it not go up, 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 up. Yeah. So they're all stopped again. So unlike a car engine that you can rev the engine, this one has two. So there's a button just here that I'm pressing. And this is idle, so this is like sitting in traffic. And then it's just full revs, that's it. There's like no in between. It's not like you can vary the revs, it's just like idle, from. So um, yeah, there's two settings really for for um, revs, and this is your gear stick. So you go first, second, third, fourth, and then this lever here. When you shove it forward, you go forward, and when you put it back, you go back. So although you leave it in second gear, when I leave this handle here in neutral, it doesn't move it at all. So only when I push it forward, we move it forward, and when I put it into the middle position, it stops, and when I put it back, it goes back. And there's a little clicker, you can hear it there. That's how you know when you're in the middle position. Also, when you stop moving, it's pretty obvious that you're in the middle position. And that's kind of it. Like, it's a lot of watching. So you look at all the grass. Where's it gone? It's over there, anyway, yeah. So, gobble, gobble, gobble as you eat the grass. And then, poo, 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 into the trailer. So you have to keep an eye that it's, getting into the trailer that there's not like too much at the back or too much in the front that it's nice and even all the way through and yeah basically make sure that the grass no no more trailer coming so I'm still waiting on a trailer um, yeah you basically wait for the grass yeah, make, make sure it's all um, going in nice and evenly sometimes you get a choke which means it means it gobbled too much grass and then you press the stop button is also the reverse button so um, I wonder if I show that. No, I can't because I have to rev up the engine, you won't be able to hear me. But um, basically, it lifts up like that and then it opens even wider. I can't remember which. There's a load of buttons here. So, all of these extra buttons, some of them are duplicated, so they're up here and they're down there. And I can't remember which one down there makes that go up. But, um, there's a foot button as well. See the big foot button? That kind of closes the jaw. And this foot button here, there's two pedals, so it's like left and right. And that makes the, the spout go from this side, go over this side. So it depends, like you say, if there's like, I don't know, whichever way you're, you're cutting the field anyway. Sometimes you want the spout on that side, sometimes you want it on that side, so. Anyway, that's my video of Oh, it's roasting, it's absolutely sweat box in here. So you can leave the door open, but you can't leave the door open when you're cutting because um, stuff gets everywhere. Like the grass just flows around the cab. So I have to close the door. I can leave the window open because the spout's on that side. So the window on this side is open. That's kind of why you, you switch sides as well. And uh, oh, this thing here, that tells you how fast you're going in kilometers, so. 
currently not doing any kilometers and my phone's ringing so I will talk to you later it's the boss so the one thing that this harvester is able to do that our combine is not able to do is vomit I'm not joking right so that's the go button that's the stop but also it's reverse so watch this so that's this opening its mouth and vomiting and usually if there's grass then it gets stuck in here it'll actually go plah, and actually vomit grass back out and then you put your foot in down there close this down again and then you press the go button but I'd have to turn up the revs to that and then just go gobble 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 so that's the, all the bit over here that I've done these are the rows here and that's still to be done so yeah you put your foot in the, this uh, machine here and you can pull the steering wheel and it has all the, the fancy gauges like out of fuel empty it's not empty it just doesn't work hot and cold the engine is other things that I haven't even looked at I just pretend that none of these light up even when they do so the lights might flash and I'm like no nope, doesn't matter this is the only so this one here there's a magnet so in case a piece of steel goes in um, off the mower or off the rake or off anything else it stops it getting chopped up there's can you make it light up oh no that's that's the go button but um obviously I shouldn't press it without any revs so like when the two lights are green all is good when anything underneath lights up red, that's when it's bad. And then there's a big giant, I'm not sure if you can see there, you can kind of see it. It says stop. When that lights up, you know shit has hit the fan. Or the pieces of metal has hit the chopper box. And then there's another one here that just says stop. A piece of steel goes in, that goes from green to red. So that's bad magnet, it means there's a piece of steel in there. That's good. And then there's go, and that's reverse, and that's bad stop. I think it lights up here as well. I've seen I've seen this one light up a few times, but I've ignored it as best I can. Because if you ignore it, it's not actually there. So what I'm actually doing the whole time is where's this knob gone? There it is. Grab onto the knob. All right, you drive forward this way, so you're steering this way, and it's actually the back wheels are steering, not the front wheels. So it makes it it's kind of a bit weird. But you're also watching the spout and fitting into a trailer and I'd love to record it but I'm literally watching everything my hand is here on this all of these buttons going forward and backwards and the other hand's here I don't really have another third hand to aim at the spout but you get the general idea a big thank you to Ben Hall for recording this I think I had him under a bit of pressure but he was able to keep up Wedding, where have we gone? There we go. And um, where is everyone? There's no trailers, there's no tractors. No, I thought it was a tractor in the distance. No, it's just a blue car going past. So, um, I'm okay, just a bit bored. It's great fun when it's going forward, like that's the best bit. And then waiting on, on, on people to come, that's the boring bit. Uh, what I do have to say is it's a hell of a lot more fun and a lot better than having to drive a tractor. Because when you're driving the tractor, you're literally driving the whole time. So you're driving beside the harvester, driving back to the on the road, tip in the pit, turn around, come all the way back, back to the harvester where the guy in the harvester was like, you know, I had a little break, a little snooze, it's all good. So don't worry, I have Ishka, well it's Orange just get so. Do you think it, if it, like you got too much sun, would you start to go mad? How do you know when you've gone mad? Ah. I hope you can hear me because I have the door open. And but um, well, that's better. It's quiet, but like it's still bloody hot in here. And I've discovered something. So. Why don't you drive the window open? I do. The dust comes in and it's really noisy. So the engine revs come in. It's looking quiet now. Yeah. But when I rev the engine, the handle vibrates. So you go. 
all the time. So what I've done now is I half close it so I can still get my hand in there. But as long as I don't like go over a bump, it won't open and it won't close. It's kind of like in limbo at the moment and that works. So um, it's kind of quiet. I do have the fan off so I can talk on the video, but obviously I turn it back on when I'm driving. Um, yeah, it's not really an awful lot to tell. Like the, the whole thing is this thing here, keep it at four and a, or five. So in between the four and the six, no, it would help with aiming at the camera at something. But oh uh, yeah, in the four and the six, just keep it there. Keep the speed about four to five kilometers, maybe three kilometers if it's getting very full, you want to slow it down a bit. And um, yeah, then be fucking bored and make little videos while you're waiting. Oh look, there's a tractor, deadly. So I have to be a gomer again and pretend like I wasn't bored. Yeah, I yeah, think I'm gonna add. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a tip in the PayPal tip jar.